Boris limps in with tens here. Garrett going to put in the big boy raise. And Boris going to limp call. Garrett with middle pair. Backdoor nut flush draw. Boris going to call. And a four, just like that on the turn. How good does he run? How good does he run? Boris with a quick call here on the turn. An innocuous nine of diamonds on the river. Come on. And Boris is going to move in. Garrett snaps. Garrett wins. Garrett takes all of Boris's money. Very nice. Very lucky. <laughs> pretty, pretty good turn card. Wesley has been active free flop. This is a big flop. Garrett flopping two pair. Uh, this is wrong, man. It's uh, three thirty. It says two thirty. Wesley with top pair. Garrett's going to click this back. Wesley immediately moves all in. Garrett snaps, and happy birthday to Garrett Adelstein. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's still, it's still calling. Can't do anything. I want to take a risk. Tiger with the three bet. Garrett is going to call in position. And that's going to bring in Ben as well. So Garrett opens, Ben flats. Tiger three bets. Garrett calls, Ben calls. Garrett flops the best of it. Good flop for Tiger's range. This is a flop. He can apply a lot of pressure. I like starting with a small seabed here. Look at this card for Tiger. Turning the backdoor net flush draw to go along with his Broadway gutter. And if you're Tiger, you keep applying pressure here. You put on all the pressure. And he does, going for 10,000 here on this turn. Tiger looks so strong here. You're right. You're free. He's good. 
This Borg Tiger can have all the jacks, all the aces, all the ace king, all the ace jacks suited. Garrett is going to call. Doesn't look ecstatic about it. And we'll see if Tiger can fire that third barrel if he misses. If he fires his third barrel, I think he can get Garrett off the ace. He needs to go very large here. I like a jam. I like an all-in. Tiger can have all of the ace-king, all of the ace-jack, all of the jacks, all of the aces. Going to be very hard for Garrett to have a strong hand here unless he specifically has a hand. Oh, and Tiger just gives up. He just gives up. And this is why Garrett wins. Because people get very honest in big pots against Garrett. They're afraid to run it. They want to stay out of his way. And Garrett just thrives off this because no one ever makes a move against him. And when they have it, they play face up. And when they don't have it, they give up. Garrett with middle set here. Just calling on the flop. Tiger going to keep barreling here. comes the raise all the way up to 12,000 and we have seen Tiger show propensity to play conservative when these pots get big Deuce on the river. This is a really good card. But this just makes it way less likely that Garrett has a boat. Well, Garrett just moves in. Garrett putting Tiger in the blender here. Don't fault Tiger for the call there. Everything bricks. Spades brick. Straight draws brick. 
the board pairs, which makes it way less likely that Garrett has a full house. Boris going to go 60% pot here with his overpair. Well, now Garrett is open-ended with top pair and a flush draw. Garrett going to call once again, figuring he is up against an overpair here and doesn't have fold equity with Boris only having about 6K behind. And a diamond on the river. Garrett makes the flush. And Garrett going to win another one. Look at this. Look at this night for Garrett. Stacking Boris. Twice. Stacking Tiger. Stacking Wesley. All the money flowing in Garrett's direction. She's going to poop. Look at this, Garrett just flops a set every hand. And no, not going anywhere just yet with top pair. Oh, and what a spot for Garrett. What a spot for Garrett. Ben three betting, bet three betting this flop with 10 4, top pair, no kicker. Mm. Not sure if he's doing that for value or as a bluff. No one really knows. But Garrett, of course, has middle set.
Whatever. Be cold. You have a draw? No, I prefer one. But you have a set. Happy birthday. Uh, yeah, you're winning. Yeah, you're, I'm drawing dead. Yeah. One He's nine. not drawing dead. I prefer one. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Go ahead. That needs runner runner. That won't do it. I'm not drawing dead. Yeah. What a night for Garrett, the precocious young boy. Now has to be up north of 200,000. What a night. So somehow he induces Ben to three bet that flop with top pair, no kicker, and then just stick all the big blinds in with top pair inexplicably. Garrett up 198,000. Pretty good Friday. 37. 37, he says. Here goes Wesley putting in a three bet. Mm. David waking up with a suit of Broadway. He just folds. Self, really. Garrett flopping the nut flush draw here. Three diamond board. Wesley top top. Could be the makings of a big pot here. He goes big, almost pot. Russell is not deep here. Ten seconds. And we know Wesley has not shown a propensity to fold anything of value. Garrett wisely just calls. Wesley has an overpair here. He has 10x. He's just never folding. We've seen it. He's on the turn. What a card. Garrett makes top pair to go along with his nut flush draw. Wesley with top two. I mean, I had a, I had a pair, but um, my starting hand was a joke. But I, I made a, I made a good. Hand. Wesley reaching for chips. Puts in half his stack here. Garrett in kind of a six spot. Wesley pots this flop. And goes half pot on the ace turn. Garrett's got to be thinking, what is going on here? This doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Garrett does make the call. There it is. All in. All in. And Wesley gets snapped again. And Wesley could have saved himself 12K there. Can't win. I know you were caught anyway. Yeah. Can't fold. Yeah, you can't fold. Yeah, I can't fold my hand. Yeah. All yours. I had a very nice hand. I would have thought you flush. It can't do anything. Why did he call it? What? Why did he call it? I mean, I put too much in it. I have to, I have to bet. Or he call, I, he bet I will call anyway, right? Yeah. yeah. The same. What? But I understand. Yeah, too much yeah, yeah, I mean, hey, I check, I'll bet, I'll call same way, right? 
Yeah. 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 Yeah
And this feels exactly like aces or kings. And Garrett trying to figure out if he's got enough bluffs here to make a call profitable. Don't know if Garrett will ever fold here. He knows Ben's stuck. He knows he can get out of line. But it's a much tougher call with queens than it looks like when we can see the cards. Garrett really thinking about it. Ben's bluffs here are ace-king, ace-queen. Garrett does make the call. The precocious young boy is good once again. A $114,000 pot. Going Garrett's way. Nice hand. And Garrett's monster night continues. And we see here he does just clear the 300,000 mark. Up 302,000 nearly tonight, Garrett. What a night. It was a game I played like about week, about weekly for several years, and uh, and yeah, we'd often play 36 to 72 hours straight. So yeah, yeah okay, I dealt around 32 hours straight, and that's just that's not leaving the table. You're talking about not leaving the table, not going home to change, just physically being there. Oh, for sure, not going home. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. there's no going home. No, I mean I'll take a bathroom break, but no, that's about it. Yeah. Yeah, at a certain point, you just like run on straight adrenaline. And there's waves. Yeah, yeah and there's waves yeah. for sure. Yeah, like you'll be on random periods. Like let's say you're on hour 40 and all of a sudden you just yeah. like are wide awake. 72 hours. It's nuts. Like, uh, Imagine how smelly everybody at the table is. Like, you know when you get home because you just like yeah. collapse. Like that's why like when, whenever I, I, you probably shouldn't do this, but I always drive home after. And it's never like more than like a half hour drive or something. Like, yeah. But I take that drive home really seriously because like the physical and emotional dump when it ends is like nuts. You have to be super careful driving home, you know? Yeah. You, go ahead. Talk to us about the emotions of when you break down a game like this. Do you feel bad? Um, bad isn't really like the word. No, I mean, it's <laughs> poker, you know? He's so up 200,000, like, how do you feel bad? Where like I can't lose a hand like this. I have periods where I can't win a hand. And so if anything, I try to channel times when I can't win a hand, like, and I think about days like this. And I go, sometimes it's the exact opposite, like. This is what everyone signed up for, right? Well, it is, it is poker, you know, like, yeah, I mean, you know, like, today's my turn to run like this, but, like, mathematically, everyone will run like this sometimes. Like, you know what I mean? If you, of course, it requires, like, a decent sample size, but, you know. Um, but uh, beyond that, like, I mean, this is the quietest I've ever been because, like, there needs to be, like, an awareness, like, people don't really want to fucking hear you open your mouth, like, when you can't lose a hand, you know? So that's, like, why I'm quiet on days like this. And I've been in so many games where it's so many different people, you know? And one guy will just be up all the money and he'll just be chattering and everyone else is, like, you know, so. It's, like, little things like that you pick up, like, socially over the years, you know? Nobody wants to hear the guy winning talk. Even though I guess that's what I'm doing right now. But anyway, none of them are here, so it's fine.